Hi, and welcome to the Sunday Lunch Project podcast. This is one of our in betweeny episodes, a little of a Saturday brunch. Um, ooh, what's that going to be? The 19th of October. And over the last beginning part of this month, the PMI had a, a massive celebration over in Philadelphia. And I want to just, just talk about that. Uh, some of you may have seen a po- uh, blog post that I did. Some of you may not. And for those who haven't, I thought I'd record what I've said on here. Um, of those that saw it, um, it was the biggest story that I saw around all of the things that were on the um, LinkedIn was really where I saw everything. Having looked through there, there was the odd topic about what was being talked about and things like that. But what seemed to be grasping everyone was all about PMI's new logo. Um, Now, I looked at that new logo and uh, I looked at the old logo. And to be frank, I've always thought the old logo was looking a bit dated. Uh, If I look at my certificate up on my wall behind me, I look at it and I think, yeah, that's a bit old fashioned. But having had my PMP for over 17 years, I think back then it would have fitted with where the aspiration to make an organization and align with other, in quotes, professional organizations kind of fitted. I'm now in my 50s, and I think we strove for trying to get the profession to look like the other professions that are around, that were known by people, the lawyers, the accountants, and that kind of uh, similar look to both the certificates and logos, and it supported all that. The new logo, which um, if you have a look on my blog, you'll see the picture of it, is very, very different. Uh, the old logo having the, the basic blue, the new one now having uh, some brighter images, a bit of a revamp. And 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 a little bit of a style tweak as, tweak as well. When I first looked at it, I looked and I thought, yeah, I can see the P. Um, and I could see the I. It kind of looks like a girder, and, uh, which is good, kind of strength from project management. And then the there's a bit of hatching blue, which I wasn't quite sure about. But then looking at the M, I really couldn't see it. Um, so uh, initially I thought, mm, I'm not really, not really enamored by this. Later on, I saw another version of it, which had the Project Management Institute written by the side of it. Um, I looked at the two together and uh, it kind of made a bit more sense, obviously, having a logo doesn't necessarily mean it has to be the acronym, doesn't need to be the initials. And having Project Management Institute written by the side of it kind of drew it together and made a a more um, uh, like your Nike swoosh. It doesn't say Nike on it. Uh, The Adidas stripes don't say Adidas, but they're recognizable. Um, So that seemed to work. And then one thing I noticed is from a distance, because that was made quite small, I could see that there was, it kind of looked like an M from the distance. So that kind of made it think, oh, that makes more sense. Finally, later on, I saw a post from Chris Field, the, uh, from the PMI UK chapter. And what had happened with their version of the logo was they'd taken away the the blue hatching and replaced that with the UK map and I've seen other chapters do the same which again kind of makes that ability to give that uniqueness but common feel about it um so it was I kind of all started joining together on it um and then there's a whole bunch of iconographies that can be used in that four box square to depending on what um topics maybe being discussed or being used so your innovation your collaboration uh, vision community and so forth and so there it was and I kind of understood it Uh, I wasn't 100% comfortable but I kind of understood it and then the following morning after I had a look at this I kind of worked out what but actually, I was largely irrelevant. 
whether I like it or not, I was irrelevant because I am a member. Um, ah, though it slapsed. Um, I am a certified PMP and have been for, for a number of years. I'm a former volunteer. I'm a former board member of the UK PNMI chapter. And I do promote PMI, um, recommend PMP to aspiring PMs. And what I realized was that the logo doesn't need to attract me. And I don't think the logo and the image of, of an organization um, is, is key. If, if the organization's value is there, the logo doesn't matter. It's how it won't retain members and it won't create new promoters from the organization itself. But I think the, the original logo would have done, had we remained with it, it would have potentially put off the next generation of project managers. Not all of them, obviously, but some of them. Or make it harder to attract those millennial generation. And, and the, the next one after that is whatever it's called or not. I, I can't quite work out all of these different generation names that we get. I thought it looked old fashioned, which reflects an old fashioned organization. Now, some of the old, older, older prof project managers may say, well, it doesn't look professional, the new one. But um, it doesn't look like what a professional organization should look like. But what is professional? If you take those standards, you look at Google, you look at Apple, you look at the and compare them to the way that the tradition of lawyers and accountants look, they don't look the same. Um, but people fall over themselves to work with those organizations. Um, and I think that that's because professional is subjective. Um, these organizations we see out there are successful in a business context and think, I think we need to measure success of PMI and its professionalism on how good it is at what it's meant to do. And that is promoting the profession and helping it advance, to advance the profession, to introduce new people. And to do that, you need fresh blood in the organization. And that's what I think this logo and revamp and rebranding does. Project management is competing for talent. All organizations, all professions are competing for talent now. It used to be that you had less choice. And it doesn't matter what that is, whether it be finance, whether it be a lawyer, whether you're a YouTuber, an Instagrammer, or a project manager. It is a lot more opportunities that we have open to us, and especially new people joining the employment. Um, so we need to be relevant to the Instagrammers and the YouTuber generation. Um, and I don't think the old one probably was. And whilst... I say it doesn't appeal to me and my sensibilities. I get why the new logo and the new identity will serve its purpose. And I think another clear statement came out in, in Sunil's keynote where he appeared in a hoodie and a baseball cap, breaking that image of, in quotes, a stuffed shirt of what the PM image may be. And I know, I know, not all project managers are that stuffed shirt, typical, stereotypical view. Um, we're, ne we're all different. Um, but we need to keep changing the brand and change the image and develop. Um, and turn project management into the word that I dreaded to use, which is a bit more cool and uh, a little bit more attractive to the talent that we're looking at there. So that was all I wanted to say, really. And um, if you want to go and have a read of my, um, some of the comments that I've got, which are very, very positive, um, including people from the PMI brand team. So I think I managed to hit it just about right on, on taking what they were trying to do with it. Um, but yeah, I think that, that, that was all I wanted to say, really. And well done, PMI, really, for being bold. I'm still not sure about the M. Thanks now. Well, it's goodbye from me, Nigel Creaser, and it's goodbye from him, the Sunday Lunch PM. Goodbye.